Welcome back to Rust Belt Broncos and today we're going to be looking at uh, raising that floor to be level and um, what I'm hoping to do here is take the bottom base floor out. Um, I'm going to put some risers in there and then try to build some cabinets in there and uh, have a slide out floor. So um, as you can see I already have these D-rings already taken out. Uh, these are 10 millimeter bolts here and they just uh, bolt right down into the frame. Uh, I plan to raise this floor up and then we're going to put some two by fours underneath there, coat underneath the bottom of the floor and try to use as much as the factory floor as we can. Um, so we're going to go ahead and um, get into some cutting and some measurements and um, see how this is going to work out. All right, we got our frame built here, and um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut some plywood. Um, I'm going to make a template out of the stock uh, floorboard here. I will have to ex uh, expand it probably about six to eight inches, and then I'm gonna take a uh, router here, and then I'm just gonna make this corner because it does come over and then turn. Um, if you look inside the Bronco, um, there's a turn right here in the corner. So what I did is I just made this 42 and a quarter. Um, so I didn't have to try to notch these boards out. And then I'm gonna overhang it just a little bit so it will run flush. We're gonna go to the monster trucks, buddy. We're gonna make this thing a monster truck. And then um, what we're gonna do is, um, you know, coat all the bottom of this so it doesn't squeak. Um, I'll seal it. And then what I wanna do is, still make it where it's removable um, in case I need the extra room, but um, I do plan on using the factory bolts to put back in there. And then what I'll do is I'll just make two L brackets to join and then make this where I can take this floor out if I need to. On to the next step. We're gonna go ahead and uh, take some uh, plywood and then make the base. And then um, I'm gonna show you something that we got um, to put on the top here. It's gonna look real trick. Uh, on to the next step. So we got the plywood down, the base is down there. What we're gonna be doing now is working on the front face and laying the hardwood floor. We left just enough gap up there at the top. You can see that seam um, for the hardwood floor to butt up and be flush. Now, um, I did tape up the corners there cause I did kind of scratch them up a little bit and I got a little bit of scratching right here. Um, so to save yourself that aggravation, go ahead and run some tape into the corners. Uh, I'll get some plastic cleaner and hopefully I can get some of that marring and marks out. Um, but we're going to go ahead now and um, finish laying this hardwood floor and then I'll show how we did that. Well, as you can see, we got the floor all wrapped up. Uh, that is a nice hardwood floor. And then what we did is uh, we made a little kicker panel there and then we recovered that with carpet. And then uh, everything is bolted back down here with the uh, factory hardware, with the factory D-rings. Uh, we went ahead and uh, installed those back into the floor here. As you can see, it goes all the way up to the front. So when these seats do lay down, we have a nice even floor. Fun little project to tackle here with my brother-in-law. He helped me out. Um, he's a pretty good carpenter. So uh, let me know what you guys think. 